I teach a graduate course in leadership and the students that sign up for that course are students who are already in the real world. And the leadership course is always difficult because you think about it and you think, okay, wow, they can always read all the leadership books. They can read the leadership articles on their own. What role am I playing as an instructor to really hone their leadership skills? And so the experience that evolved was, as I started to reflect on that course, I realized that it is your personal leadership that leads to success in your professional leadership. So that course shifted for me in terms of my own perspective on leadership and how to teach leadership. So I started the course with Know Thyself. That became the theme. And when I did that, what happened was the student became a very self-reflective student they had to first, and the questions that I asked and the assignments centered around know thyself. And what I learned from that was my job as an online teacher is not just to teach the subject material, but also to help the student grow as an individual. So what I did from that point onwards was regardless of the course that I was teaching, whether it was strategy or organizational development or leadership or now I'm going to be teaching data science, I always started to incorporate a module on Know Thyself. And the evaluations just skyrocketed. I think the fact that they were not just coming to class to learn some subject matter that they might later forget, but that they had to dig deep into who they were, what they were doing, why they were doing what they were doing, what their career goals were, what did it mean to have a relationship with the world, with your family. There were a number of questions, and I found some very good books that I used in my class and gave one assignment that was not related completely to the course material, but it was related to them as a learner. And I think that has changed my perspective on what it means to be an online instructor. So initially, I tried a blog because I thought a blog would be a good idea for others to also see and read. I tried wikis. That was not successful. So now I do personal journals, and they can write as much as they like, and they can write about anything that they like. Uh, and I think what has happened is there, is, there are students to whom this personal journal is not an assignment, it's not a grade. It's, they are doing it because they want to achieve clarity in their own mind about who they are and what they want to do. So it's a very uh, soul-exploring exercise for them. And they know that whatever they share is obviously confidential. So they are able to bring out a lot of things in, their, in this journal and through the process of writing the journal, they achieve their own clarity. I think one of the testimonials that I included in, for this award was a student who said that this was a reset year for her. And the journal, the, the course, she said, just helped her to be in a completely different place in 14 weeks. She said, from where I started and where I ended up is just I now have such confidence in who I am and what I see. And I think the stories are so humbling for me as an instructor that somehow, in some very, very small way, I help them to get to that place where they are looking at themselves with greater authenticity. They are no longer in this fake world of this is what I have to do, this is how I should please somebody. And some of these stories are extraordinarily moving. I have cried reading some of the journals. It's just amazing.